Good evening fellow Oral SA racing members. Um, as you guys know we've got our Brad Green GT3 Cup here, round three, and we're gonna to go to Sabring uh, with our semi-pro class. And I've got once again I've got my buddy back in the commentating box again, LSR Skunkworks. Welcome buddy. Hey guys, how you doing? Awesome stuff. Okay guys, so as you guys can see here on the poster, we've got our Brad Green GT3 Cup um, and Sabring poster. Um, so we're busy with qualifying and as you guys can see uh, this awesome poster that has been made from um, Ice, um, Iceman um, So definitely uh, guys, that's awesome Absolutely stunning Absolutely yeah, awesome. Is. And as you guys can see here as well, we've got our teams out there as well So I'm going to show that up for you guys for a bit so you guys can actually have a look at that yeah, this one, the, the semi-pro, we've got guys that have dropped down from pro and there's guys that have come up from the amateurs. It's just testosterone filled. This seems to be the group yeah. that has created the most fireworks in the last couple of races. As you guys can see here, we've got an awesome post here as well with our track there. Um, so, talking points. As you guys can see, their first night race of the series. It's going to be really <laughs> exciting. Um, it's going to be, yeah, it's always an, um, an, um, an exciting race, a nice race. So let's see what these guys can do. So we're going to switch over to our game game view quickly. Uh, we've got a bit of problems here on my screen. Okay, sweet. As you guys can see there, we're on board here with none other than Iban. And uh, he's in the Audi. And, um, I see there's some tactics being played here. Guys yeah. are, are looking for a bit of space on the track. They seem to be, what, rather run alone than in a bunch, um, which is unusual. Seems like we're having a bit of problems there. It seems like we jumped. Yeah, that's definitely oh. technical problems. I don't know what happened there, guys. I think maybe some of the guys didn't have uh, any headlights or whatsoever. But um, yes, I'm just going to show you guys yeah. um, and the teams there. Um, guys, as you guys know, Keep us busy in the commentating area. Uh, tell us who do you guys think is going to win. There's some names here that I still don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> so definitely, if there's anybody out there, <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> if, if there's anybody out there yeah. willing to send me a voice note, um, Suri Ditsiari. I'm just hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Gary, I don't know if, if you want to maybe yeah. have a go at it. No, I need to put my false teeth in if I'm going to pronounce those. Um, but, but it's on the screen, you can see the teams. Yeah, we've got, let's rather mention the team names. So we've got Team 10 yeah. and SA. We've got the War Tolly Racing and then the, the Hawaii Mono. The Supersonic Maniacs, the A-Team, um, Smoke'em, Clutch Kicking and then, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. So as you guys can see, the, um, I'm just going to show you the track as well. Um, it is our first um, match race, so um, I think what happened was uh, some of the guys didn't have any headlights um, Obviously nobody wants to qualify like that. Mm. So let's hope the game. Yeah. Come on Forza Let the guys actually well, we were doing some race. practice laps earlier. Yeah, and the, the lights was a bit of an issue Half the guys had them and half the guys didn't so yeah We're, we're trying to force the, the racing line on so that everyone can still see where to go But we'll have to uh, keep our fingers crossed for this one. Yeah, Let's see what happens, guys. Um, okay. what? So we're in the commentating area here. Yeah? We've got Foley Free saying, hi, guys, all the best. We've got TTSA Remington saying, hi, guys, pro. Anyway, go TTSA. Now, guys, there's a semi-pro. Oh, in the description. Yeah, yeah. in the description. Well, it, it says pro. <laughs> and then, oh, does it? Wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Uh, blame Forza. It was turn 10. It was their fault. It was a glitch. Sorry guys, let, well, me, thank you, let, me, let me check quickly if I can change it for you guys quickly. Sorry guys. Um, and from Stanton, yo, 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 what's oh, up? Oh, another Zaga member on board. Okay guys, let me yeah. check if I can get that sorted for you guys quickly. Sorry for the description. Ah, oh, yes, I see it there. Sorry guys. Now just to let you know what's happening uh, in the background. Basically, everyone's come back to the lobby. They're just yeah. resetting. 
Um, and they'll be setting off on the qualies again, hopefully. Keep your fingers crossed, everything should be fine this time. But I, as I was saying, with the well, semi pros, you know the, the main difference, because our amateur drivers yes. are of a very high standard anyway, but in the semi pros, we've oh. got this collision of testosterone. Saying, like I say, you've got guys that have come down from pro that feel like they want to. You know, they obviously want to prove their worth, and then you've got the guys coming up from the amateurs saying, you know, hey, I should be in pro, and you've got this, I don't know, dangerous mix of guys, um, yeah. and it all comes out on track. I cannot wait for this one. This is the one to watch. If, you, if you're going to catch any of our races, this has got to be the one at the moment. Yeah, definitely, guys. Guys, um, I know that um, the description is wrong. I'm trying to change it quickly, but it doesn't seem like YouTube actually wants me to change it now while we're still live. So I'm um, sorry for that guys, um, I'm still trying to do it quickly, but it doesn't seem like I should see it, I to change it, no, to to change it. So but yeah guys, in the background we're still waiting for the guys to actually join, we've got Warpig here, it seems like he's connecting and then disconnecting the whole time. Um, and there you have in yeah, the, uh, the commentary, we have Iceman himself, uh, the like creator of these fantastic yeah, posters, the stand up Iceman. Well done. That's definitely a hand cap there for the Iceman. It looks absolutely Iceman awesome, yeah. guys. And I must say, I couldn't have done any better. I must say, this is absolutely Stand amazing. Up, Iceman. Well done. That's definitely. Oh, Beamstein's yeah. got time to text. Feeling confident. Oh. Okay, guys, it doesn't seem like I can actually change it now, the description. I'm so sorry, guys. But yeah, there's for the new guys uh, watching again. There's your team lineup. As you guys can see there, and then if you guys can actually pronounce those names there, um, let's go. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> right, it looks like everyone's readied up. It's only a matter of time now. What times are you thinking? I mean, some guys have been dipping into the 204s. Um, what, what do you think is going to be the poll time? Oh, I've got no idea. I've absolutely got no idea. If anybody's here in the commentating, oh guys, I can actually change it quickly. Just give me two seconds. Sorry, Gary. Uh, let me just get the no description problem. right so that the guys can actually know what's happening. Um, now we've got some power cars in this lobby. We've got the Jack. We know the uh, Audi's pretty quick. We know the Lambo's quick. And the chef, actually, the chef's pulled a, a very quick time. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so close. I'm thinking, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to say the poll time is going to be a 2.05. I think guys are going to be a little bit nervous. Cold tyres, they'll be more concerned about keeping it clean. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to go with the 2.05. Okay, guys, it seems like we are good to go again. Um, I'm just waiting for the game to load in quickly to the track there. Then we'll go on board for you guys. Um, Let's hope, guys, that everyone's got headlights. No one wants to be driving the dark here. Okay, seems like we're off. We've got the switch over there for you guys. Hey, LEB. Boom. Yeah, Iceman. A high 204, maybe. Maybe. All comes down to nerve, doesn't it? So here we go. Who am I going to jump on board with first? Early mover. I'm thinking could be. Let's have a look at the flash. He's had a couple of incidents in the last couple of races, and we all know he's quick. He's going to want to do something in this race, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm on board with the flash just now. I'm just going to get my camera angle there. So we're on game camera here, so that you guys can actually see. It is a bit difficult to see, obviously, because it is night. Um, but just bear with us, guys. Um, yes, so we're on board here with the flash. Yeah. And if you can pull up the map there, VN, um, and if you press up on the D-pad, you can actually zoom in. It gives a nice view. Oh, okay, shows perfect. how close the racing is. I yeah. can definitely view that. Oh, perfect stuff there, as you guys can see there on the map. There we go. You can see how close everyone is. Now, obviously, they're going to be rolling in ghost mode, so no one's going to trip each other up, but it's always interesting to see the, the raw pace, you know, um, especially on cold tyres. Remember, the first three laps, the tyres are still warming up, coming onto yeah. temperature. You're probably going to see the pole times set around lap four, lap five, something like that. Okay, guys, I would like to see that commentating uh, section there get active, guys. We've got Folly Free saying, yeah, go Beamerstein. Uh, Bruce Essay saying, have a good race, guys. Um, 
John saying uh, thank you, thank you very much. I really enjoyed making the art. Well, absolutely awesome stuff there. As you guys can see on the on the live stream here, Slash doesn't actually have uh, <laughs> headlights here, so Any lights? Um, yeah. it is a bit dark. Sorry, guys. I don't know. <laughs> um, so yes, that was a lap. And it's only really the infield that has yeah. lights in this track. Okay. Kyle B for the win. Ooh, I like it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Anyone can literally win these races. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to go on board with, with, um, and with Kyle. As you guys can see, he's in this one. I'm just looking here. Solly did a fantastic job last time out. I remember he had a bit of an incident early yeah, on, but he, he, he ground away and I think he picked up a third position. Yeah. And then Kyle, yeah. Moras also, I think he uh, came in in fifth uh, in the McLaren last time, if I can remember correctly. And then Scomotoli. And Parrot Cheese, do you remember the incident? Oh, with yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> so much to prove. Exciting stuff, guys. Okay, so we've got yeah, uh, Rick Stassen commentating saying, Go Flash, buddy. Race hard. We've got LB saying Carl yeah. is pretty much the only dude mal enough to run the skyline. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is loose. And we've got yeah. Dane commentating. He said, Go Dylan, you can win this one, buddy. So we, we've got a lot of love here coming through for um, all of the uh, drivers here. Yeah, it's good to see. Guys, uh, commentate in the commentating area um, on what car do you guys want to be um, focused on. If there's uh, anybody out there wanting to see a hot lap with someone, definitely commentate in there and I'll definitely um, and show you guys. I've jumped right at the back. I'm on board with Skomal Tully at the moment. He's just behind Make My Day and Eben. Okay, I'm gonna jump around. Looks like you're attempting to slipstream. I'm gonna go yeah. to Sully. It seems like Sully is way at the back here. Um, he obviously waited for all the guys to actually start and then get like clear, clear check. Okay, so we've got TTSA Remington yeah. here saying Beamerstein. Okay, I'll switch over to Beamerstein just in a couple of seconds. Right, everyone's on lap three now, and we've got. Well, it is. It's Beamerstein. There we go. There's a two o five five. Um, Ooh. is the best Ooh. lap currently. Eben has the top speed with 212 miles an hour, so it's my prediction is currently correct. I don't know what happened with Sully there, but on the live stream he literally <laughs> went into the wall and uh, and we see him entering the pits here, so that's not good for qualifying. Oh, um, no. But okay, TTSA Remington, I'm gonna go on board with Beamerstein quickly. Yeah, uh, it's the man on the move at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Have a look. I remember last time out, wasn't it? Uh, Beamerstein was a little bit nervous, but he pulled it together in the end, pulled out the quickest lap and took the win. But it was close. I must say, coming down this loss um, straight here on the back straight, it's absolutely dark. <laughs> um, and going down there. Yeah, they need headlights. Yeah, they are. it's a nightmare. It is a nightmare. Well, this is obviously um, making it interesting as well, obviously with, uh, with a nitrous. Part of the challenge, yeah. I was just going to say. Yeah, and, and the track temperature comes into play. There's about at least a second difference between day and night yeah. on the same track. Um, and that's all in temperature. Oh, we've got some love for Kivet as well. There we go. Oh, nice. Quinton. Go Beamerstein, boost SA. Okay guys, so we did a uh, half lap thing yeah. with Beamerstein. I'm gonna go to mm. Kivit quickly. So we're uh, on board. Yeah. Look go here. where the love Kivit. is. Go where the love is. As you guys can see, it's absolutely dark going down here. Um, I would like to show you guys um, in the libraries, but I can't see any. Um, so Sometimes yes. there's fireworks. Oh, there you can see the... Oh, I don't know what happened there, guys game seems to be loading for some reason sorry guys still loading it's still loading and we back on track again okay i don't know what happened there i think kivit actually disconnected as i was on board with kivit and then the game just loaded and now it's gone 
so I don't know what yeah. happened there, guys. I'm gonna go. Well, I can tell you the fastest lap is still the 205.5. Two laps left. If anyone's gonna do it, it'll be around now. Okay, so we're on board here with uh, Mick Maday. Um, let's see what, what he can do in the army. Yeah, well, so far, a run down the lap. We've got Bemis down with the 205. Um, yeah. Who's the closest to that? We've got 207s, we've got 209s, that's the flash. Um, we've got 206, Komotoli, 206, make my day. Yeah, they're in 207 low. Right, okay. Looks like Bemis time could be running away with so, And he's just picked up the top speed as well. 213 miles an hour. I don't know how on earth he's doing that. Yeah, me as well. I've got no idea. You must must be geared to the max. Yeah. <laughs> well, knowing Beamerstein, he's one of the guys putting in all the practice. But um, yeah. So yeah, and we could have seen it in um, in our last series as well with the um, and the Touring Cup. He absolutely puts in laps of the lap of the lap. Just to get his call. Well, I was in Perfect. the. <coughs> yeah, well, I was just going to say I was in the practice lobby with him just before the race now, and I was uh, riding his tail just to put him under a pressure test, see if he was ready, and he d he didn't flinch. He's ready. Awesome stuff. Okay, guys, so we're on board here with Perichis. Uh, Perichis in the Jag. This thing absolutely sounds amazing. <laughs> it sounds awesome. Yeah. Oh, sounds awesome. Like I say, Parrot Cheese is looking for a boring race. That's what he wants. Yeah. He, he wants no incidents. He just wants to get away, do his thing. Um, I think he's, he wasn't just the last race, but the time before he also had a, an incident. Was it Silverstone? I can't remember now, but the, I think there was also a wall involved. Yeah. So he's just going to want to get away, do his thing. Yeah. Okay, guys. The Jack is currently the world record holder. Oh, serious? Yeah, number oh, one. Really? Okay. Okay, guys. So you guys obviously wondering what is the point system looking like, or what is the points? Where's the guys? So as you guys can see there, uh, we've got this awesome poster that has been made from uh, from Iceman as well. And uh, as you guys can see there, there's your points. Uh, so have a look at that. At the moment, quickly there, as you guys can see, the Team Tandem SA on 64, Ayo Mono on 43, and then we've got third place, uh, Wood Tully Racing as well on 43 as well. Then we've got Supersonic Maniacs on 28, 18, 15, Clutch Kicking 5, and Smoking 4. And then Everything to race for. Look at the individual standings. Yeah. 43 apiece. Oh. So there's definitely a lot in. Yeah, a lot into it. No, it's all to, but well, look at it. Basically, the top, what we're looking at, the top four, they're still in it together. And then five and six are just on the outside, Stealth Monkey and Kibbit. But I mean, one race changes everything. Yeah, definitely. Okay, guys, so that was your, um, in your team uh, points and your uh, solo driver points today. We'll definitely show that for you guys again later on during the race. Okay, guys, so we're going to go on board yeah. here. We're on board here with Perry Cheese. Uh, let's go on board with Ibn. So we're gonna go on board with Ibn quickly. You guys can see your Ibn is in the Audi as well. Just... Well, everyone's on the last lap now, and it, it's still beams time with that 205.5. Um, I'm gonna pat myself on the back, uh, and he's still holding the top speed record 213, which is just unbelievable. <laughs> well, well done. Um, what do you think is gonna happen in this first corner? In the race that's the big question that's the, it's i mean there's plenty of space in the first corner but yeah. everyone wants the same line so if it was me i would definitely come into this first corner wide i, yeah. I wouldn't be thinking of trying to get through it first i just want to get through it clean yeah. but you know what it's like when the light turns green then it's just haywire By elton there we go we've got some love for sully coming up as well yes never forget sully he's smooth he's quick and he's one of the guys that came down from pro. Yeah, so he's definitely got a lot to show these guys and uh, a lot to prove these guys. But um, yeah, Sully, yep. he did absolutely amazing um, in the last race. Obviously, 
having that the incident there in the I think it was the second lap or third lap. He was. He, he was very early. early. He went from yeah, like fourth to ninth or something like that, and he recovered. He he did perfect. He did absolutely yeah. perfect. Oh, we see one of the artists going a bit wide there. There's um, grass cutting there. Yeah, Ben. Okay, so we're gonna go on board of Bimustan again, guys. Yeah, there's Voli in the uh, chat saying amateur race turns one to four was very clean. Yep, we know the AMs have got through, but this is semi pro. These are animals. Yeah. And especially these guys racing here, we've got guys wanting wanting in that first place. So these guys are going to give it their all. <laughs> I didn't say anything, actually. I'm just going to sit back and watch. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are uh, coming to an end to our qualifying there. Just waiting for all the guys to uh, yeah. obviously go around the finish line. I'm just going to check here who still needs to go. Okay, so we've got a couple of guys here still at the back. We still need to finish. As we guys can see there, it's a bit confusing. We've got Finger coming across for the finishing line now. We've got Sully still approaching. We've got the Flash and we've got Mora still on their last qualifiers. I don't know what happened there. Seems like someone stopped. Oof, I don't know what happened there if it took Well, I can confirm there. for a fact it is being Mustang on pole. I don't know what happened there to um, Fingers' core, but his core is actually just limping over the finishing line there. I don't know if he, if he took oh, some damage no. there. Okay guys, so the last car is coming down the finishing line there, and um, yeah, that's it for now. Let's um, give these guys a chance to actually sort out the laps yeah. and then do the grid ordering Have a quick well. cup of tea. Yeah. That's right, Quentin. I noticed that. There's no BMs in this group. It's all uh, power cars, isn't it? Yeah. Well, besides the DBR9. And I think everyone's enjoying the fact that Kyle's chosen the GTR. I think everyone wanted the GTR to be a yeah. more all-round car. Okay, guys, so just um, bear in mind that the guys are just <laughs> taking a quick uh, toilet break and uh, getting a drink or whatnot, and then we'll start shortly. Yeah. <clears throat> They're just going over to the hospitality booth. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so guys, in the commentating area, tell us who do you guys think is going to take this one? Mm, that's it. It's down to the chat. Come on. Come on, guys. Who's going to take it? Go. Who is your money on? I know there's a lot of guys going to say uh, Bimestein. Uh, what's going on here? We've got uh, Rick Stars and commentating Branavain. In Branavain, Yeah. Someone taking some <laughs> Branas. Instead of tea. <laughs> Well, I'm just hoping the guy's not taking some right. brothers now because otherwise the race is not going to end so well. Um, we've got Gerrit Conradi saying here, yeah, Bimestein is on some decent form. I yeah. definitely do agree. So we've got uh, four guys saying here, yeah, Bimestein. Well, five guys actually. Mm -hmm. And then we've got yeah. Quentin Ulefi saying Met Ace. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Retrolution we've got saying, hey, what's up everyone? Yo, yeah, thanks for joining. Up? I, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm, I'm going to say Beamer is going to take the whole shot, but Scomotol is going to take the win. I kind of have that. I, I kind of aiming towards that side as well, but knowing Beamerstein, mm. uh, he's not going to give it away easy for um, for Scomotol. No, Definitely never. not. No, never. Okay. Well, like I said, we saw him shock up last time, but he pulled it all together and then he still pulled out the fastest yeah. lap and took the win. So, you know. Okay, Gary, so we've got a, uh, a question here for you. Uh, Gerrit Conradi is asking, Gary, yes. Gary's thoughts on top three. Top three, right. Okay, well, I've just given you the top two. So I'm going to round it out with Solly in third. Yeah. I'm going to go Skomal Tolly, shock victory with uh, Beamer second and then Solly yeah. in third. Well, guys, it's all going to come down to this first corner. 
let's see what happens. Um, obviously, as you guys let's know, see. Sully in the previous race, he had some bad luck. But then, literally, I just saw him gaining, gaining, and just catching up to all these guys. And absolutely well done. So, um, yeah, let's see if... Uh, well, hopefully all the guys get a, um, a clean first corner. And then uh, let's see what happens. Yeah. Obviously, Beamerstein wants to, just wants hmm. to pull away as soon as possible. Yeah. Well, we all want to see a clean start. We want to see good yeah, racing. Definitely. Um, but now, again, I'm going to mention, but the, the two-pitch strategy does change a lot. Um, and the timing of those pits, and th that's what I'm saying. Beamerstein could pick up some trouble. Um, and Skomotol, he, he gets stronger. He, he, start, he doesn't start off so strong, uh, yeah. whereas Beamer is very strong at the beginning. But he gets stronger throughout a race. So, yeah, anything can happen. Yeah, well, let's see what happens, guys. So we're almost ready to go. Um, there's still a couple of guys still needing to uh, ready up there. Um, yeah. Let me just check here quickly. Seems like everyone's good to go. Seems like everyone's good to go. Yeah. I think they are just the brandies busy. have been put down. Yeah. Met Ace, the brandies are down, guys, and now it's going to get dangerous now. Okay, so we've got Ali B saying, yeah, I'm sticking to Carl with a surprise top three. Oh, um, yeah. Right. Any moment now, and then we're in. Yeah, guys, then it's going to be all action. And don't forget, after the race as well, we're going to get the top three in to our, what, what should we call it? Our isolation booth? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to get them in. We're, we're, we're going to find out what their thoughts are on the race. Yeah. Um... Guys, it just seems like we've got a bit of a technical difficulty there with the lobby settings. Uh, Johanna's experiencing some uh, some difficulties there, as he doesn't have any game sound or game chat. So um, we just give them a couple of seconds to sort that out. Yes, guys, for those um, and for those guys uh, new to our channel. Um, if you guys enjoy our videos um, and enjoy the commentating all that kind of stuff, definitely subscribe. So when we're going to go live again, you guys will get the instant notification, and it's going to and it's going to take you straight to the live stream. Guys, it seems like we are good to go. I'm just going to show you um, the game view here. Okay, so as you guys can see, that that's our grid order there. Um, the hot box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. Uh, I just saw the chat. Man. Yeah, the hot box. That's right. We're getting the top three back to the hot box after the race. Thank you, Rick Stassen. We need to do some interviews on the guys and ask them what did you do in that corner? Why did you take him out? Yeah. <laughs> Being interrogated. Why did you finish on your roof? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. It seems like we're good to go. Right, here we go. I'm gonna try and get the best angle for you guys here, so that we can see all the action happening here um, at the back. I'm gonna go to third person view on Beamerstein, and then I'm just gonna get the okay. guys lights just out. Here we go. A couple of seconds just to sort this out. Okay, as you guys yeah, can I'm see, we're on board here. Beamer, yeah, who's in first. Me as well. So as you guys can see, there it seems like the oh, someone at the back there going right there. Oh. Seems like we've, we've got a all, clean it's, start. It's clean, fantastic. Right here we go. Okay, guys, we're gonna bunch up now for this next corner. Oh, I'm still focused on Beamerstein, but I'm just gonna go oh, to through. the back. Well, into um, into the middle of the back here quickly, guys. Just you can see there's someone on the live stream who doesn't actually have uh, any headlights. Well, hopefully. On his game, it shows headlights, otherwise, it would be the total mess up. Yeah, it could just be the replay as well. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what happens here. I'm going to go on board with Ibn here in third place. Um, as you guys can see there, we've got two Audis there chasing down the Lambo there in front. Oh, yeah. No. I'm still on board with Beam. I'm just okay. looking back to see most of the action from here. Yeah. Perfect. I'm going to go to replay cameras, oh, guys. Oof, what's, what's happening? Sorry, Skomotoli, then. Um, Beamer seemed to be on the brakes a little bit too early and uh, Scobbleton, he almost went into the back of him and he lost all the momentum now. 
Will he get his catch in again next sequence? There he goes. Oh no, Beam has gone wide, he's on the grass. That's oh. it, Scomotoli's taken first. Ibn's challenging, he's taken second, right? So Beam is down to third position. Beam. And then it's Mech My Day, okay. which is on the back I'm of the I'm on board now. here with Beamerstein. Oh, it seems like. Yeah. Oh, take it easy, take it easy. Plenty of laps yet. Oof. Oh, it's like a train. This is going to be, this is oh. going to be exciting. So, so we've got the Audi and the Lambo there. Oh, and we can actually see the Lambo there pulling away a bit. This is going to be quite interesting in this corner here. Oh, this is going to be close. This is going yeah. to be exciting. Ma that Audi of my day. Oh, no. Jeez, that was very well done. Very well done. Those guys. Guys, I'm trying to get you guys the best angle here. I don't know how he saved that or how he did that. But that was absolutely amazing. Absolutely brilliant. He's, he's got holding, some. He's, he's got some big kahunas there. Oh, we can see oh. Beamer there go, oof, cutting the oh, corner he's off there. The track there. Yeah, he's cutting a little bit. Well, but he gave him the position yeah. back, so that's well fine. Well done. Well done. Okay, guys, I'm just going to do a quick yeah, well round done. here um, on who is actually where. As you guys can see, there we've got Skumal Tully first. Second, we've got Mick Maday. Third, we've got Beamerstein. Four, we've got Edgar Finger. Uh, five Gibbon, six Parachies, seven Kyle, TTSA Sully, Flash, Tucker, uh, Warpig, and then Moras. And I don't know what happened to Kivit. Seems like Kivit is in um, is into the pits. Oh no! Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, Beamer just made contact. Just as I changed player, let me go back. Okay, he made contact there, but I missed it, unfortunately. I, I don't know where Make My Day's gone yeah, now. Yeah, I'm on board you oh, with um, kind of Sully at the back. Oh, we can see some contact there between oh, the Jag and the Audi. No. Um, I've got no idea what happened I, there. Make My Day has gone from second to eighth in the last sequence of corners, and not one of it was his fault. I feel awful for him. Awful. Oh, that's awful, guys. So we've got Sully in, yeah, in, um, in seven as well, and at the back of him we've got Make My Day. Um, I must say that's that's absolutely awful. Um, we'll definitely have to uh, yeah, investigate nice. that. And he was doing so well. Yeah, we'll have to have a look at that. Uh, unfortunately, I changed um, driver as the incident happened, so I actually missed the aftermath. Well, that's a shame. But now we've got Finger in third. Yeah, Ibn we've, in got, uh, we've got Sully chasing down Parachies here. Uh, this is going to be yeah. quite interesting. Um, what's going to happen in this corner here? Uh, of course, while all of that was going on, Scomotoli was just grinding away at the front. He's got himself a nice little lead there. And he's pulled out a 2055 on oh, the. Oh! Really? What did Kivit just do? What just happened then? What happened? No! Oh no, guys. Did Kivit, what's. Oh, Did Kivit come out of the pits? What just happened? I have no idea what just happened, but that just affected the top three guys there. Oh, I'm gonna try and check the damage. On, oh, he's got damage on his car. Yes, cool, Tully. Oh my word, no, that's awful. I think this might have to be a restart. I'm afraid. He's got steering 100%, transmission 100, driver 100, fuel. Yeah. Oh, this is this is bad. I don't know what happened there, guys. Uh, oh I no! I don't know what happened Oof. there. We've got contact between uh, Parachies and Skumultoli there as well, guys. I've got no idea what what happened. Oh dear, it's all just starting to unravel. Well, guys, I don't know what I've got. Right, let me. Okay, well, let, let me just do a quick rundown. I think we need to find out what's going on. So, in first, we've got Beamer Stein. Second, it's Ibn. Third, Make My Day. Fourth is Sully. The Flash is in fifth. Kyle is in sixth. Taka in seventh. Parachi is in eighth. Yeah, guys, I would, I would say restart there because I don't know what happened there, and it's absolutely awful because Komotoli was. Way out of the front now, he's I, way at the back, and his car is absolutely I, damaged. I agree and, with that. Um, I, I is there anybody that can actually contact uh, Wayfall quickly and then tell him? 
Okay, well, we've got we've right, got we've got Elton here commentating saying no restarts. Um, geez, guys, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's, no. that's a bit... I, th I think there's too many people involved with the incident, so yeah, I'll go with a restart. It's down to Mr. Prophet. I don't know if Mr. Prophet is there. Yeah, guys, I don't know. Yeah, oh, that's... that was very unusual. Uh, so we still see a car here stuck there on the map. I've got no idea what whose car it is. I'm going to try and get that quickly for you guys there. I don't know if it's disconnected. But it seems like there's a car in the wall. As you guys can see here, we've got Padded Cheese in the pit. We've got AGR Thinger in the pit. And we've got Skumultron in the pit as well. And uh, that's just absolutely... Well, I'll tell you something. Do not miss the hot box after this. We need to find out exactly what was going on. Um, I feel like I've missed a lot of the incidents there. Okay, so we're still waiting. I think we have got, we have called a restart. Yes. What's happening there with our? A, a restart has been called, but the the, the problem is they, they don't all sit in the same chat lobby, do they? Yeah. Okay, so it seems like these guys need to exit. Um, and then we can make it three laps shorter, I would say. This is absolutely bonkers, guys. We, we, and we're trying to sort this out while we're actually going, guys. So just bear in mind there. Um, yeah, I wouldn't... Yeah, I don't know, guys. Your thoughts on it, Gary? Yeah, well, I'm just uh, chatting now with uh, Rowan and Jan um, about forcing the, the lobby to stop. The problem is they're, they're all in their own private chat, so we can't communicate with everybody at the same time. But yeah. as soon as enough back out, I think the rest will realise. Very unusual. Well, we knew the semi-pros was going to be an eventful one. Um, I, I just didn't <laughs> expect Kibbit to be sent in the center of turn one. I'd love to know what happened there. Okay, so we've got Elton here commentating saying absolute rubbish. No other races are restarted when other people crash. Um, yeah, I, th I think this is a unique situation though. Like I said, there were so many people affected. It, it was a freak occurrence. Um, it, the, the way I balance it up, if it was real life racing, it would have absolutely been stopped. It would have been red flagged, and um, they would have had to do a, either a rolling start or um, simulation safety car, something like that. Yeah. The, the problem is, as we said, we can't communicate with everyone at the same time, so it just takes a little bit longer. Yeah. Well, we've, we've still got 11 guys racing. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Oh, we see some contact there. Yeah. Oh, we see some contact there. Oh. Yeah. Well, we, we, we could just go back to the um, the poster so long and then we'll chat with these guys and uh, we'll get it restarted as soon as possible. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to show the post up again. Um, because there's no use actually showing you guys this. No. Sorry, gents. Just uh, bear in mind with us. We're just trying to get this sorted as soon as possible. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of questions asked why did we restart, but as you guys saw there, um, literally being being in first place and getting taken out by a back marker coming out of the pits is... And then... Yeah. Yeah. The, and literally the top three was um, was actually a part of it. Guys, just just bear in mind, please, guys. We just um, trying to get this, trying to get this sorted. I think we'll definitely get Kivit in the lobby later in the hot box and we see 
yeah. he can explain exactly what was happening there, what happened. we did see him in the pits um, about half a lap earlier um, so we don't know if he'd come out and maybe he'd collided with somebody and he'd done so much damage he couldn't yeah. move you know these things happen well it still seems like we've got to move to the neutral side Yep, Ferret's just uh, mentioned the replay. Well, the, the replay will be saved, yeah, and we'll have to investigate afterwards. Okay, guys, so just bear in mind, it, it, uh, it is a bit difficult now getting uh, a restart going here because not all is in the same party chat and not obviously the guys are racing now and they're not on their phone, so it's difficult getting their attention. But, um, yeah, if we're going to stop on lap 10, then we're only going to do... Yeah, I would say um, 16 laps. I tell you, somebody that will be happy with a restart, and that'll be uh, make my day, um, because he got a raw deal about a lap earlier, didn't he? Where he went from second to ninth, so he's got a second lifeline, luckily. Okay, so we're trying to get these guys to stop, guys. Um, yep. Sorry for this, guys. We're really trying to trying to get this sorted. Um, it's all good, they're starting to back out now, one by one. Guys, for our viewers out there, bear in mind, we, uh, and we're trying to get this sorted as soon as possible. Um, <laughs> Quentin's not happy. He's yeah. out, that's it. His controller's gone through the window, is that enough? Yeah, guys, uh, for the guys obviously watching, um, this is really unfortunate as uh, the semi-pro class is always one of the best uh, classes to uh, to stream. Um, we're definitely trying our best to get all of these guys' attention. Um, so yeah, guys. We are literally trying. So what they're going to do once they do the restart, they're going to deduct the uh, first four laps from the overall. So they're just going to restart with the 22 remaining. Yeah. And then everything goes from there. Okay, guys. So yeah, we're just trying to get this. Uh... Okay, so Beamer is out and he's ready for a restart. Um, okay, so we've got a couple yeah, of... Yeah, we've got Sully's here. also out, Moras is out, yeah. They should just be able to stop the lobby, I think it's a technical issue more than anything. Yeah. Um, Gerrit, um, Conradi, I, and, um, I definitely do agree. But um, with and um, and with the party chat, it's so difficult when you're actually starting to race, and then it obviously disconnects. So then, when time is like this, then some of the guys can actually talk, and some of the um, and then some of the guys can't because they don't have um, or well, it keeps disconnecting. So it, it it is difficult having all the guys on the same party chat and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we are trying to sort this out as soon as possible. Um, we've got Bima. We quit it and we've got a lot of cars all around the track just bought so i'm just hoping the guys actually see this so that i can actually uh so they can actually leave Hey, no. <laughs> PC Master Race. None of that spamming here, please. <laughs> well, it seems everyone's eventually getting the message. There we okay, go. Okay, guys, it right, seems replay. like. Can we save everyone? Replay? Yes. No? Oh, no, we can't. Can we? No. Oh, no, we can't. You didn't give me well, the option. Luckily, I was, mm, I was kind of on board with um, Skumal Tully there. So we can definitely go back to the, right, okay. um, to the live stream and go check. Yes, guys, for our viewers out there, sorry, guys. Um, it's really unfortunate that it happened. 
but um, it is a serious uh, accident. And some of you guys will say, well, yeah, but why doesn't the other and the other races uh, restart? But as you guys could all see there, it was absolutely bad. Okay, so it seems like the guys are changing it today now. Um, yes, I think that's going to be the best. Then uh, our other races has to be today as well. Our pro race and all that kind of stuff. Um, obviously, we wanted to change it up a bit. Um, and obviously, in real life, you have night races as well. But it doesn't seem like we were prepared. I guess, I guess until Forza can manage the um, dynamics a bit better, better, we'll have to keep doing things like this. Yeah. No, I absolutely agree with you there, Ferret. Yeah. So we just need them to ready up and get this on the way. Yeah, as soon as possible. Hopefully in daylight there won't be any incidents. Flipping heck, I've never seen anything like it. Third race in. Absolutely, Mr. Stesson. What is race day without drama? <laughs> <laughs> the drama B. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, come on. Ready up, gents. Okay, so it seems like Moras is out. I don't know. He was having connection issues earlier. Maybe he's just uh, trying to reconnect. <laughs> I wonder how this is going to affect the psychology of the race now. Are these guys going to back off, or are they going to go even harder? Yeah, I've got no idea. Mm. And now, going from night to day, like I say, it does make a difference, um, especially to the tyres. So, yeah, it's just going to throw a different dynamic in. Well, obviously, guys, um, obviously wanting to um, change up the racing and uh, make it a bit more interesting. So, obviously, with the night race, we thought, well, it's a, it's a, um, it's a bloody good idea. But obviously, mm. as you guys just saw now, we tried something and it didn't work. But uh, we'll definitely mm. have a night race again. Definitely. Well, it looks like Sully may be pulling out a different tune. Ooh, controversial. Right, it's just Beamer Stam we're waiting for. Okay, guys, so as soon as these guys are readied up, then we can go. I don't know what the fuss we is can about get going, now. going, yeah. Well, you know, when the blood starts pumping, it's good. I like the fact that everyone has something to say. Come on, Beamer. Let's do this. Well, we've got Beamer here asking in the party chat. He wants a night race again and 26 laps. Well, guys. Well, that's nice, but let's carry on. Oh, we're going to have some drama. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed. <laughs> guaranteed. Well, we can't satisfy everyone. Um, yeah, so we've got John here commentating saying, I agree with the restart. Most leaders were taking up a uh, back marker, especially so early in the race. If it was the end of the race, I wouldn't let it be. Uh, we've got Elton here saying, in F1, that would have, have warranted a safety car. Starting positions would have been determined one lap from before the incident. Yeah, but that's only after one third of the race has been run. Um, so if we've got guys the, commentating the saying stick to night race. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know where the day race came from. It does make sense though. If only half the field is uh, with lights, um, 
Yeah, I don't know. They, this decision was made. I just want to see the race run now. Um, we need to start from 22, that's correct. The incident happened on lap 4. Uh, everyone's in their original qualifying position, so let's do it. Yeah. Okay guys, so these guys want 26 laps, so let's just do this as soon as possible. Because um, it's getting late I don't know now. what we're waiting for now. What? So we're doing 26 during the day, okay. Let's just run. <laughs> so now nobody's happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just thought, let, let really tick everyone off. Yeah, just like, okay. <laughs> What's gonna happen is gonna happen, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I say, let's see how this plays into the psychology now. Let's see if these guys can still keep it cool in turn one, or they thought, you know what? I got stuffed first corner last time. I want this one. Okay, guys, so we. We, we are and we're bound to start now um, for the viewers out there go. Um, sorry guys thank um, you for your patience now sit back and watch the drive it does happen so um, I don't know what 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 okay that was kind of weird because I saw there on laps it said 7 out of 26 laps completed okay. I don't Here know what happened go. there right I'm on board with Beamerstein again, looking back and see what happens. Paul Scobantoli's had a better start this time, but ooh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Everyone's looking clean, it's looking good. Yes, turn one, everyone's through. Excellent. Okay, so I'm on board here. Ooh, Beamer going a bit wide there. Oh, oh. no. Okay. I Not don't even know breaks, if this right. is a better restart than, than the Scott previous Montoli. one. Yeah. <laughs> And Sully's okay. also gone onto the grass. You guys can as well. see they've got right, a little so oh. Yeah. So now we've got Beam in first and it's Ibn in second when we jump on board. Okay, so and I'm on board here make my with day. Small tool here. And we oh, see. Oh, no, Parachis oh. just taking out Finger and make my day. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, guys, I don't know. I've never seen anything I don't know, like I don't it. know what's happening now. Seems like the guys. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the guys are a bit um, frustrated, or yeah, I don't know. Let's see what happens, guys. Um, at the end of the day, we call the restart. So, okay, I'm gonna go on board with uh, and with Sully at the back. <laughs> We've got uh, John Engelbrecht commentating. Yeah, Iceman saying, "Lol, racing is even worse in daytime." <laughs> oh man. We've got a lot of damaged cars limping around the track at the moment. Um, okay, ninth position, we've got Kyle. He's cruising and looking good and sounding good. And then we've got Make My Day in eighth. He came off rather poorly from the Parrot Cheese um, late, breaking, late breaking. Let's have a look. Sully in seventh, how's he doing? Right. Soaring went wide on the grass, but he seems to have found his pace now. Yeah, I'm on board here with Sully as got, well. Yeah. Then we've got Kivit just in front of him. How's he looking? I'm on board here with right, he's on his own at the moment. Okay, and then it's the flashing fourth. Ooh, sneaky. He could get something from this. And then on board, yes, Scomotoli in third. So he's recovered from his incident. He's putting some pressure on Ibn now. And then I assume it's Beamer cruising away in first. Yeah. Oh, no. He's going to be white. No, but he's just made it. Just made it. Um, where are you on board now, Gary? Now, I'm on board with Ibn. At the moment, he's taking pressure from Scomoltoli and he's looking at um, Beamer's time. You can see the heat haze off the track, can't you? Yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. Well, I'm on board here with a Tucker now, yeah, and he's chasing good. down Flesh here. 
Oh, Skomatoli wants second desperately. Oh, he's getting pushed wide by Ibn onto the grass. Oh dear. Oh dear. No room is left. Go on board with Flash in fourth, he'll be able to see what's going on in front of him. No, it's not close enough at this stage. He's looking very neat and tidy though, he's looking good, more composed this time, it's good to see. Okay, so we're still on board here with um, Tucker. Chasing down with Flash there. Somebody just went wide. Who was that? Ibn going wide. Yep, and Skomaltoli's taking him. Skomaltoli's now in second place. Oh, you can see he looks angry. You can see it. I'm on board here with uh, McMurray. Oh. Chasing down uh, Kivit and in the back of him we've got Sully. Scumbox always on the grass. Let's see how Beamer Stein's doing it first. Well, it seems like you've, uh, and he's got a nice lead. Yep. Yeah, I think if he can just grind it. This is uh, Beamer Stein's happy place. Oh, no, 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 no. Make my day. Not again. Got some, got some contact there on, uh, on Tucker. But, um... He stopped to give him uh, um, and his position back, so that's good, that's well done. Right, okay. Good to see, good to see. Oh! Beamer, 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 he's drifting it! Oh. A Lambo does not like to drift. Let's have a look. It's close in second and third. Oof, guys, we've got a lot. Oh, it's Ibn again in second. We've got a lot of action here, as you guys and can see. And now it's Scobbletolly. Oh my word! Yeah, there's a huge oh. pack starting from fourth, which is still the Flash, I think. Yeah, it's Flash leading that pack, but behind him it's Taka in fifth, Kivit in sixth. He's really done well from the restart. Oh, he's so he absolutely put down the straight here. We are make my day in eighth, and then at the back of the pack it's Kyle in the uh, Nissan GTR. Very nice. So I'm on I'm on board with Ibn here, and he's uh, sticking with Skomotoli, who obviously wants to try and close. We've got a game, nice battle here between first. Sully and uh, Make My Day, yeah. But this Audi is absolutely powerful, though. Yeah, it's got the legs in the straight. Oh, but Sully's coming back again. Okay, so where's the action happening? Oh, we see someone going... Who's at the back there? It seems like Carl went a bit wide there into the wall. Or someone went into the wall. Tucker, it seems like Tucker went into the wall there. Has he got any major damage to his car? Doesn't seem like it. I'm on board here with, uh, like it, with yeah. Ibn now. Yeah, I'm, I've been sat with him because this, this is very interesting what's going on here. Uh, because Flash is catching bit by bit. And every time Skomotoli makes a slime like that, but Ibn made the same mistake. But every time Skomotoli makes a mistake, Ibn's on him instantly. And then they're battling for that second position, which is obviously going to play into the hands of Beamerstein, who's yeah. just cruising away at the front. But just jump on board, see how he's doing. Yeah, he's looking pretty happy. I'd say he's got some extra pace in him, yeah. He's, he looks like he's... Uh, on a track day. I'm on board with Kivit now, in fifth. At the back of him, well, in front of him we've got Flash, and the back of him we've got Mac Day. Oh, this is going to be quite uh, interesting here, uh, coming down this back straight here. Yeah, 
the two Audis. And you can get that map zoomed in, remember, yeah. just uh, up on the D-pad. And then you can see how close they are in real time. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Who's going to... You can see make my day they go. It's going to be interesting when the guys start hitting. Okay, well, we've got Kivit here going into the pits just now. Is he going in? Not so early. Maybe he was stuck in traffic, not such a bad idea. Sully in six. Let's see how he's getting on. I remember he changed his car just before the race. Yeah. I'm back on to make my day again. <laughs> Ali B. Kivit must be banned from pitting, please. <laughs> yeah. It's so bizarre. I'm going to need to see a replay of that. I, I can't even imagine how that happened. Here we go. Ooh, make my day has taken the flash and Sully is putting them both under pressure. This is good stuff here. Oh no, he's clipped the curb. Oh, he's lost the drive. Okay, scratch that. Well, it's close between these three. This, this is a battle for fourth. Oh, make my day's gone wide yes. and the flash followed him. So I must say, make my day's coming. all over the place at the moment. Yeah, he's fast and loose. Ooh, Sully took all of the curb there. We go. I'm gonna go to the. Interesting back. to see the two different lines. Yeah, they're both of in the DPR nine, but they're taking. Yeah. And you'll see the lines that Flash is taking versus Sully. Sully's Ooh, taking Sully's, a much Sully's, tighter line. Sully's closing He's down. Got the drive. Look at that. Look at the power difference there. Wow. Okay. Flash is going to be asking himself some questions. Yeah, definitely. Well, we saw Sully there making a, um, a late um, tune change there. Mm, it's obviously working for him. Oh, was this Ali B? Probably, yeah, probably. Yeah, well, you know, you know how these things are. Um, he could have, as he drove out of the pit, you know, the turn ten gods decided. Yeah. Yep. Yes, as I you guys can see here in front here, seat. we've got uh, Beamerstein closing down. What, what, what happened? What happened? Something must have happened. I don't know. Who is Beamerstein? Okay. Beamerstein is going to be is... coming up. Yep. Parrot Cheese and Warpig soon. Now, we saw Parrot Cheese have that major incident earlier. I wonder, you say he's still carrying damage. Well, I couldn't see any other damage um, than his tire wear. He's got 90% tire wear, 19 in his, uh, in his front tires, mm. and then 18 at the back. Oh, well, I tell you what, War, Warpig's battling with that all-wheel drive. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to stay on board with Parrot Cheese here, because Beamerstein's catching him rather quick, and yeah. if I know Parrot Cheese, he's not going to let him pass that easy. Well, let's go on board with uh, Beamerstein. I haven't been uh, on board with him for a while now. So, um, yeah, good idea, there you go. Let's see how he's doing. Well, the good news is the racing seems to have settled down now. It was yeah. just the, the first lap where there was any incidents. He's breaking a lot earlier than he needs to. Uh, we've got a question here asking what car is Skomultoli driving? Skomultoli is in the Audi. He's in the R8? Yeah. yeah. That's a good one for you, Classy. And Jan, yes, I saw that on the straight. Sully's uh, DBR9 was pulling. 
He's got some secret sauce under the bonnet on that one. Okay, there's War Pig gone. But where's Parrot Cheese? Are you still on board with Beamerstein there? Um, I'm with Skomotolin now, but I'm gonna go on board with Beamerstein quickly. Okay. Oh, well, Parrot Cheese is just taking a fistful of grass, and Beamerstein is right on him now, so I, I guess this is the time. I'm on board with Beamerstein here in third, uh, in, in third person view. Oof! Oh! Parrot Cheese drifting. Parrot Cheese now, is. Now, will he let uh, him pass? Well, moved well over. Done, well, well done. done. Well done. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the back there. It seems like there's some action there at the back. We've got Carl here. Chasing down the flash. Oh, this Nissan. It's just and a GTR. It sounds awesome. I'm so glad that, that uh, there's one of them in the race. Close is this? Scomontoli, right, so the gap is basically the full length of the back straight. That's the gap between first and second. Yeah. It looks good, Johan, yes. Um, some of the guys have made an outstanding effort with deliveries. Fantastic job. Seems like we've got some action here way at the back between um, Parrot Cheese and the War Pig. Yeah, those two, two have been these battling. Two are yeah. going, going at it. Well, they're battling for last, unfortunately, and that's the sad part. So I'm still on board. I'm with Skomoltoli now, and the reason is because he's got to go through those two battling uh, parrot cheese and war pig. Yeah. So I want to see if they're as courteous for him. I'm on board here with Moras and uh, and the Flash. These guys seem to have a nice battle here. Ooh. We're seeing some drift action there between these two. Oh my word! And we see heavy contact there. For Moras, they're going into the wall. I don't know what happened, guys. <laughs> it just... Oh, no. just went all haywire. It seemed like the car's uh, rear just came out and it just couldn't save it. I'm going to go on to his damage here quickly. Um, engine damage 1. Uh, tire wear 25. So it doesn't seem to be too bad. It looked absolutely bad. Mm. Um, so I don't... Let's have a look at this gap now. Yeah. Ooh, no, it's exactly the same. So I'm just monitoring first and second here because it's yeah, that's very perfect. interesting with these two cars in between them. What have we got in the chat? Oh, the machine's popped up. Um, was the race restarted? You plonker. As if you didn't know. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> still an important battle, absolutely. Remember, this is still for the points. Um, the, the team points, Mr. Uh, that is. And we that's Mr. Bethesda himself. The line. Rainer, Mr. Bathurst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the love's still coming through for Beamer's time. Okay, so we see someone there in the pits. We've got uh, Yibben there coming out of the pits. And uh, who's that else in the pits? Parachutes. Yeah, about time. Well, at least he's out of the way now. But uh, I think that the win is in the back for Beamer unless uh, something drastic happens. Okay, so we've got uh, Iceman here. Make my day is in third. Well now, done. Is, sorry, is that because of uh, people starting to pit or is that natural position and then Sully in fourth? Oh, now, you see, now it gets confusing. Yeah, I'm kind of confused now with all this, but... Um, so we've got, first we've got uh, Beamer Stein. Second Skimmel Tully. Third place we've got Mick Day. Yeah. And then we've got a back marker mm -hmm. here between first and second, and that is Will Pig. So... Yeah. I can't believe he stayed out, because he was carrying some yeah. damage.
Nick Magday hasn't pitted right, so that's his natural position at the moment, third. Uh, we've got Gerrit and Hardy saying here, Nick Magday hasn't pitted yet. So that's probably why he's in third. But mm. uh, let's just check the gap there between Nick Magday and Ford. Okay, so Sully's definitely going to take him. Hey, son, um, and have Sully went to go pit yet? I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt it. Because it'd be a bigger gap, I would imagine. Oh, we can see Scumbo's only there going a bit wide there. Uh, let's check there if I can see any damage there on his car. No, I can't see any damage. Um, shows that he only has 53% fuel left. Oh, something just happened there with the damage. I don't know what's happening there. We've got a fastest lap time, a 2.036 by Beamerstein. A 2.036. Well done. That is unbelievable. And Ibn has a top speed of 222 miles an hour. Please tell me that's a glitch. Yeah, it must be. Okay, so I'm on board here with Sully. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading Foley's comment. This is, I think Semi Pro must go for a race discipline class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably correct. Yep, agreed. Yeah. <laughs> Well, like I said at the start, you're guaranteed fireworks with these guys. Testosterone packed. There we go. Scomeltol is coming up to Warpig. Let's see if he can get past clean. Body of Skomal to let's see quickly. He's obviously chasing down uh, Warpig, yeah? Well, that's obviously his teammate as well. Yeah, he's moved over. Lovely, good to see. Yeah, and there's he's back off there. Well Lando had too much pace. Well done, well done. Oh, as you guys can see, we've got Beamer Star in the pits there. So yeah, Beam has gone in. And Skomotoli staying out. First right, so he's going to try and well. undercut. And it seems like McMahdale is going to be able to uh, get into second. Let's check here quickly. Yes, he's definitely going to make it. And then fourth, we've got uh, Sully there. Oh, we've got Beamerstein actually just behind them. So that's well done to Beamerstein. I see Parrot Cheese is out, yeah. Parrot Cheese and Dylan have backed out. Yeah, I just noticed, Classy, yeah. I don't know what happened there. He was in the Corvette, I think. I was looking forward to seeing that. Okay, so we're on board here with the Flash chase, uh, chasing down Tucker. Now we just need to complete the first round of pits. And then we can see everyone's natural positions. Yeah. Skomotol is playing out high 204s at the moment. Okay, I assume Sully also went in. And Flash and Tekka. Okay. Now the question is, is Skomotol going to try and stay out? question is if he goes in will he be coming out into traffic now yeah. let's have a look who's behind him okay so he's looking at Kyle um, but Kyle might go into the pits as well so no he would be clear if he pits now let's see what he does looks like he's lining up lining up no another lap okay another lap. feels good okay so we're on board here with Flash uh, chasing him down Tucker and then we'll back off him with the Kibit um, 
I'm hoping I'm seeing this right. Okay, no, no, no. There was obviously a glitch on the game there. Got I'm going to jump there. on board with Beamer's time because it matters if he's going to get held up. And you know yeah. who's in front of him? Scum will tell his teammate. Warpig. Is he going to be so kind this time? Well, that's the thing. Um, I'm on board here with um, Beamer's time as well. So let's see what happens. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. They'll definitely be on each other by the end of this straight. Oh, that looks quite defensive to me. Oh, he's gone wide. No, is, is he? Is he? Is he? No, he's not. Oh, that was close. That was super close. Oh, he's, he's not. He's not letting it happen, but it is. Okay, well done, guys. <laughs> that, well was, done. that was really close. Yeah, was okay, so at the back here we've got Carl and Sully. Uh, quite close to each other, so let's see what uh, what Carl can do in, in, the, in the GTO. So we're on board here with Carl and behind him with Taka. 8 is the flash and then 9 kit. Okay, tire wear on Sully and Nick Mud there. I'll try and get that for you guys quickly. Um, Nick Mud Day, let's check quickly if the game actually allows us to see it. Um, okay, yeah, there we go. We've got 4% tire wear on Nick Mud Day and then on Sully. You've got nothing. Let's have a look. Well, do you think everyone's had the first pit? I'll do a quick rundown. What have we got here? So we've got Beamer's time first, Scomotoli in second, and it is closer, by the way. Uh, Make My Day in third, and he has pitted, so that is his natural position, followed by Ibn in fourth, and then we've got Sully in fifth, again, leading that pack, followed closely by Kyle, and then it's Taka, Kivit, the Flash in ninth. Is he going in for a pit? Yeah, it looks like he's going in for the pit, and then Moras in tenth, and Warpig in 11th. The quickest lap time at the moment is Skomaltoli with the 2.035. Ibn has the top speed of 2.22 miles an hour. Hmm. Well okay, so we start on Well, I can visibly here. see that gap between... Hmm. I'm still on board here with Carl and Sully. It seems like Carl just can't get uh, close enough to uh, Sully to overtake him. And then back of the Tucker as well, chasing him down in the flash. Okay, the question is, um, well, Bimastan is in first now, we've got Spongitori. I'm trying to get us on board with the action here, yeah, but it doesn't seem there's much action happening here. Yeah. Mm. No, at the moment, no, well, it, there's that small pack, isn't there? Um, yeah. Let's have a look, let's go back to that, where are we? Um, okay, Carl so jump on board and with... Sully and Taka. Yeah. Yeah, jump on board with Tucker because he's he looks like he's making some moves there. Yeah, perfect. And it's Kyle in the GTI in front of him. Yep, still just come out. What? Tacker's got the, the fastest top speed. 
251 miles an hour. <laughs> oh dear, turn turn. Oh dear. We're going to break a land speed record if you can. Yeah, watching. Definitely. Okay, guys, so we're still um, on board of Tucker chasing the cow, and then on the back of him, we've got the flash. And as you guys can see, uh, there's not much action happening at the moment. Um, not yet, no. Obviously, they're kind of balancing themselves out after the first pit. Yeah, the only action that's probably going to happen is uh, between Bumerstein and Spomotum, when Bumerstein is going to go into the pits again. Mm. Yeah, the rest besides that pack, um, fourth, fifth, and sixth, um, everyone else is nice and spaced out. But this gap between first and second, is it, does it look like it's getting closer to you? It kind of seems like it's getting a bit bigger. Hmm. I'm using that back straight as a gauge, but I can't really, can't really see. Oof. It's just cool until they're going a bit wide again. Okay, so it seems like then the back we've got Tucker actually quite close to uh, Kyle now, so let's see what he can do in the Audi. Mm. Coming down this uh, back straight here. As you guys down can the see straight, there, yeah. someone in the pits there walking. He had a long Ooh, stint. What's going to happen? Ooh. These guys are close. Everyone has their own line around this track, I've noticed that. Okay, so now we've got um, Taka and Carl there. And then you've got Sully. I think Sully just came out of his his second pit now. So that's Sully in fifth position. Oh. Okay. Taka is really close to Carl. We're gonna jump on board with Sully, yeah. Yeah, he's on his own, isn't he, in fifth? Well, can he pick up that elusive third position? What do you guys think in the chat? Sully's one of the chat favourites, isn't he? Can Sully work it from fifth to third? Can Beamstein been slowed down? Oof. Taka, they almost make me move there on Kyle. What's happening in the front here? Got Mick my day and Skomotoli having a nice bell here. Yeah. How did how did make my did Skomotoli make a mistake? I've got no idea. There was a gap between second and third. But now there's oh, a way word. bigger gap. More controversy. Right. Well, I'm going to stay on board with Make My Day. Yeah, I'm on board with uh, with Make My Day as well. I must say, he's, he's having a fantastic race. I know he's been involved in a couple of the incidents, but he's kept himself there, hasn't he? Yeah, definitely. Let's see if you can actually catch up to Skumultoli. But um, I do think Skumultoli uh, still has the fastest uh, lap time, eh? That's right, 203.5, yeah. That's the slap of the race so far. Now, obviously, like I said, there's about, you know, at least a second difference between day and night. Um, yeah. And it's all the entire temperature. Okay, so at the back here we've got Tucker. And Carl, I'm just going to go on board there quickly as it seems like these guys are quite close. Uh, it seems like Tucker actually made a move there on Kyle. Right. And Tucker took those uh, and took that sixth position there. Now I've obviously got... Um, oh yeah, but they're all punched up. I'm yeah. going to jump on board with Flash. Uh, yeah, I know we're in separate locations. Yep, smart money could be on Make My Day, yeah. They've been a very good race, I mean, all credit due, you know, you've got to keep yourself there, you've got to stay in it. Yeah. Ride the luck sometimes. 
Well, if this is gonna go the way it's going now, then that's definitely be missed out in first position there. As he's got a massive gap. And between second. Mm. I'm just gonna go on board here with um Skumultoli make my day here. It seems like these guys are quite into it. Let's see who's gonna get the best drive out of this uh, out of this uh corner here. The Flash and Kyle are going at it as well. This is uh, some good racing. Oof! Oh no! You see, we and we actually see Mick Mulvaney making a bit of a mistake there, going into uh, and going into the corner a bit too hot, and then he almost uh, took out uh, Skomoltoli there. And we got a new fastest lap as well. It's you know who Beamer's time with the two hundred three point four. So now, with Make My Days going into the pits also, so we've got a new rundown. We've got Beamer in first, Skomotoli in second, and then Ibn has found himself on the podium. Well and done. he's cruising all alone on the track at the moment. And then, okay, Make My Days come back out in fourth. And then it's Sully in fifth, followed closely by Taka. So we Yeah, the luck's coming in for him now. Yes. <laughs> Third position. Come on. Excellent. Interesting to see how this affects the team standings now. Yeah. It's gonna be quite interesting. So we're on board here with the flesh. And it seems like he's chasing down a warp pig there. If I am correct, let me just make sure. Okay, it's actually no. Okay, so so he's got war pig, a back marker in front of him, and then he's got Tucker. Uh, the Joker, awesome buddy, thanks for joining. Okay, so we've got someone in the pits there, let's just have a look there who that is. Uh, Moras, okay, so that's Moras in the Moras, pits there. yeah, it's Moras. Yeah. Well, I think Beam is cruising in first position now, I think he should have this wrapped up. Skomotol is looking pretty secure in second. Yeah. And Ibn, yeah, he's got third, but he's not secure. We've got Sully in fourth, and you can see there's a clear gap now between fourth and fifth. So Sully's still got the pace. He's going to be wanting that third spot. You can see someone there going into the pits. I don't know who that was. Okay, that was Ibn going into the pits there. Right, that'll be his final. Well, we know Beamer hasn't been in for his second. Skomotoli hasn't been in for his second. So I wonder if Ibn's uh, planning some tactics here. He wants to come out back into a clean track because remember, everyone was on him. Okay, so as you guys can see there on the map there, there isn't much in it at the moment. Because there is a um, nice gap um, in between the guys. So we're just on board here with Skomotoli. Okay, what's happening here at the back? We've got a pack here. We've got uh, Kivit, Carl, and the Flash. I'm going to go to the back here with the Flash. And see here if he can actually pass Carl. So we've got Taka and uh, Sally. Uh, That's what I was just looking at now, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna jump on with Taka because he's behind Sully. Sully's in third for the meantime. Well, let's see.
Tucker doesn't appear to have any livery on my screen. Has he got one on yours? Yeah, he's got he's got nothing on mine as well. Though. Right. Okay. Well, again, that could just be a, a turn ten glitch. I think the semi pros are going to be called into the classroom this week. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Sully is looking good again. Okay, guys, so uh, what's happening within the commentating area? Um... What do you guys think? Who's going to take it? Well, obviously we've got uh, Bemis time there. We have a massive gap there, as you guys can see there quickly. So that's Bemis time there yeah. on the blue, and then at the back there we've got Scorn totally there. Well, he had all luck second time round, and he's, he doesn't need inviting twice to first place. He's taken it with both hands, and he's just disappeared into the distance. I'm on board I think Scomotoli may have settled himself in second. I'm on board here with Tucker and, uh, and Sully. Team like Tucker is. Hey, Beamerstein's gone in. Oh, is he, is he in now? Okay, so let's see. He's gone in. Okay, so I'm gonna go on board with Scomotoli here quickly. Uh, as you guys can see there, Beamerstein is uh, on his way out of the. Out of the pits there. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but then obviously yet again, then uh, Skumotoli also has to go for the second pit as well. That's right. So let's see where he comes oh, out. There Ooh. he goes. See, Beam Be yeah, Beamerstein would not want it. He's just come out right behind Moras. I'm sure Moras will move over, but it's the last thing he actually wanted. Oh no, Moras is holding his line. I don't think he's seen him yet. Oh. He is moving over, he's keeping it far left. There you go. Yeah. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, it was a. Uh, uh -oh. oh no! And that was the incident. Oh no. Oh no. And Beamer get it back on track. Oh, guys. Oh no. Flip That's back. his call. Where are we now? Scomotoli. Yeah, but Skomotoli still needs to pit, yeah? Oh, guys, no ways. Jeez, I know. I saw Maras, he seemed to lose traction on the straight, which was very unusual, and then... Oh, no, Skomotoli's also gone onto the grass. Flipping heck. Can anything else happen in this race? I've never seen anything like it. Guys, I don't... Oh, my word. Falling to pieces. Right, so as I say, Scomotov is in first for now, but we know he has to pit, and the distance between first and second still isn't yeah. big enough. Scomotov hasn't been into the pit yet, has he? I don't know what happened there, but on my screen, screen and on the live stream, it just showed that um, Moras and Bimastan got close, but I didn't see any contact there from Moras on. Uh, on Beamer start, so I don't know no, if, if it was it, a it was a lag or whatsoever. No, I was on board at the time with Beamer start. Yeah, what me as well. Was, uh, it, it, Mo Morris moved over to the left, and then somehow it, it just like he picked up a twitch, and uh, Beamer Stein just tried to avoid him, and um, unfortunately clipped the grass and ended up in the wall. It was just one of those things. Right there you go. scomotoli has gone into the pits now. Well, so that should we've got Beamer Stein into the pits now as well. Stein. Oh no! Oh my words! So we're gonna have. Oh, it's gonna be a sprint race. Oh, this is Six gonna be exciting. To the line. This is gonna be exciting. Oh my word! And then who's coming okay, down? And then we've got Tucker. Oh my Forget word! Forget your toilet break, guys. It's all going off now. Oh, we've got five laps, in fact. And then look at this. We've got Mick oh, Day, no. who had his second pit already, coming down the straight here, and he's in second now. Oh, oh, oh no! I'm gonna jump on board with Mick Day now. See how close he is. Right, he's going around the first turn. Right, and where's Beamer? In fact, no, I'm going to jump on board with Beamer in yeah, third. Yeah, Beamer's in third, yeah. 
Because oh, can this you couldn't believe have this? gotten... You couldn't predict any of this. None of it. Yeah, absolutely none. Well, let's see if Dima can do it. Oh, here we go. This is the moment to shine, Beamer Stein. Five laps. But what is the distance? Can we bring that up? Let's have a look. Okay, so got here? I'll Dis distance, yeah, distance between leader. Well, distance from. Oh, we got someone here from reversing leader, yeah, here. What right. happened? Make my day seems to have absolutely lost it. Oh, no ways, guys. No words. So we've got Beamer Stein back in second now. Um, I don't know what happened with Make My Day there. I just saw his call on the gr um, on the grass there in reverse. Right. Okay. So that that's part one of the mission. Oh, Beamer Stein on the grass. Well, that's part one. He needed to get past as quickly as possible. So now we can just focus all of his energy on yeah. pounding in those quick laps. We know we can do it. Can Scomotoli keep his nerves in check? I can't believe this. Can I keep my nerves in check? Well, the gap is 2,000 feet between first and second at this stage, which is a mammoth task, but I'll, I'll keep gauging it at the same point and then we can see how yeah. much it's closing. Because I'm just going to go to the back here as we can see some nice uh, battle here between Kilit and uh, it seems like Sully. Ooh, no, I'm on the right. Where's Sully? Yeah. Sully could pick something up from this. Well, he's down to fifth. Right, so and then it's Ibn. And then make my day. Right, well, the gap at the moment is only 1,000 feet. I don't know what's happened. Well, yeah. this is all within one lap, is half the distance, so. Uh, That's 1,000 feet, is obviously 350 meters for those guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> for, for you non internationals out there. <laughs> okay, so we've got Mick McDay here behind the back mark here. Okay, well, that's awesome from Warpick. Uh, who gave him that spot there? Um, as I said, I don't know what happened to Mick Malay there. He was in second place and then all of a sudden just. I don't know what happened. I cannot wait to get these guys into the hot box after this race. I need some explaining, yeah. explaining of what's oh, been happening on word. this track. Guys, Yibin went off the track and literally just cut back into again. And that literally just took. Oh no, oh, what's, what's happening? Guys, seems like this race is just... We need cameras all over the track at this stage. It's been non-stop action. We've got Moraz's car here going down the back straight here. Guys, Message to all admin, no. please save replay. I repeat, please save replay. Yeah. Right, the gap is now 1,600 feet, and this is the exact same spot. I checked it last time. So it's closing. He's taken about 20% off the distance, and he's still got four laps to go. There's no traffic in front of Spomotoli, though, so if he can keep his head down, he may be able to take this to the line. I'm on board here with Tucker and Sully. Um, these guys have been going um, at it for a couple of laps now so let's see if Tucker can actually it, add some pressure there on him. But it was only a couple of laps ago wasn't it when it said it looks like Beam has got this wrapped up? Yeah. Wasn't wasn't that like two laps ago? I can't believe it. Well, it seems like Bimustan is catching up now because earlier it was 350 meters. But um, yeah, you can vi you can visibly see that gap's coming down. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Who's the, who's the guy in between? That's what I want to see. Let's have a look. Who could potentially cause trouble here? Okay, so that it's is Morris yes, again. Morris. Right. Oof. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I can't believe it, right? Okay, everyone, I'm going to check the distance again when we get back onto the back straight. This is not impossible. Flipping it. Right, so come on. Down in the commentating, what do you think? Can Beamer pull off the win of the century? Right, the gap has come down. I'm looking at it now. We're looking at, as soon as he gets onto the straight. Right, here we go. We'll look at, oh, now it's changed. Right, here we go. We're looking at, oh no, it's 1,800 feet. Yeah. So, right, Skomotov has actually kept it. It was plus minus 500 meters. Mm. We've got Gerrit Conradi saying uh, two laps short for Beamer, I read. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Oh, these guys well, have been... I mean, you've seen the race, you've seen what's happened, yeah. anything can happen. Scott Motoli can get DC'd on the last corner. No, I shouldn't say anything. Ah, oh, don't be there. Come on, I'll give him the commentator's curse. No, I'm not. Forget it. Please, rewind. Please. <laughs> okay, so we've got a nice battle here between Taka and Sully. These guys have been going in for it uh, for a while now. I'm just going to go to Beamerstein there. Obviously, he's got uh, Moras there in front yeah. of him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just hoping this time he actually passes. I've stayed on board with him. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Who's in third at the moment? Oh, if, if Sully can somehow pick up third, that puts my prediction absolutely correct. We'd have Skomal Tully, Beamerstein, and then Sully in third. Oh! I know you're right, Axeman. Sorry, I've, I've taken those words back. There we go. Come on, Beamer. Dig deep. We all want to see a last lap battle, don't we? I'm going to go to the back here between uh, Taka and Sully. These guys are... Mm. Absolutely going for it. But it just doesn't seem like Taka can actually um, get close enough to actually overtake him. Hmm. It seems to gain when people make mistakes rather than through natural Now it's going to get pace. quite interesting because we've got a back marker just in front of them. Yeah. Oh, Beam is trying to get past Moras again and he, again he's not giving him any room. No, he's done it this time though. Okay, neat and tidy. Lovely. Whew. Okay, so that's the second part of the mission complete, but the gap, it's unfortunately, we're still looking at about 2,000 feet. Yeah. We've got two laps to go. It's a huge ask now. Yeah, you're right, Chad. It's about 2,000 feet now. But that will be, obviously, be had to navigate his way past Moras, and he'll be, obviously, a lot nervous the second time round. Oh, some of these guys are cutting this uh, in this first corner uh, quite a lot. Well, you know what? I know it hasn't been the most attractive race we've had, but it is m most definitely the most action-packed race I've yeah. ever seen, I think. Definitely. We've got a lot of stuff happening. Oh, Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, so I'm on board of Tucker, and he's so close to Sully. Um, oh exciting stuff Right, I'm going to jump on board with Skomotoli now. I think he's done everything he needs to do. I want to see if he can finish the job. We're going to start the final lap. Yeah, perfect. I'm going to go over to um, Skomotoli as well. And you know, I'm, I'm going to have to give the drive of the day to uh, make my day. 
Definitely. Um, I said it before, but he's, he's he's kept himself in the action and he's going to pick up a podium position here. Um, so very well done. He's the driver of the day for me. Okay, last lap. Can these guys keep it together? We've got no back markers. There's no no one battling on the track. We've still at the got moment. Tucker and We've Sully battling it out. Fourth and fifth, yes, Sully, that's right. Sully and Tucker are still in a battle. Well, first, second and third are all evenly spaced out. Third needs to make Oh oh no, scomotoli has gone on the grass. Oh he's on the grass. Oh my word. <laughs> Can you believe it? Right, I'm jumping back on board with Beamus. Yeah, me as well. Is this? Oh. Scomotoli's heart's going to be pounding like you wouldn't believe now. Right, and don't forget, we're going to have the hot box just after the race. We're going to find out exactly what's been going on with these guys. Yeah, guys. There's a lot of explaining to go on. I'm trying to see if Taka has what it has what it takes to actually pass Sully. As he's been sitting behind um, Sully now for uh, quite a while. It doesn't seem like um, Taka is just too much space. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go on board of school right, so yeah. Yeah, last corner. Providing no weird voodoo happens, you should take this. <laughs> oh he's Ooh, taking he goes it wide. wide. Oh that was very oh, dangerous. Oh, that was dangerous. Okay, there you go. Scomotelli takes it in first. I'm gonna go on board with uh Taka quickly. Stein, second and here's make my day picking up a well in third position Sully looks like he's sealed fourth has he has he yes he has he has, yes, he has. He's just taken it from Taka who's also running wide well done there we go a nice little drift across the line from Sully okay and then six we have it's Kyle in the GTR well done the flash picking up seventh. And then Ibn will be coming around now to pick up eighth position. I must That's say, right, um, sir. We need to get Kivit into the hot box. I must say, this hot box is going to be quite uh, an hot. exciting <laughs> Yes, Very hot. Okay. So, we're still racing. We've still got Morris. So, Ibn's taken Morgan. eighth. Yeah, and. I'm gonna have some war pick, yeah. Okay, again, um, a reminder to the guys to please save the replay. I'm sure it will be reviewed. Yeah, definitely. They, like I said, they happened so many stuff, like even with um, our night race as well, with uh, what yeah. happened there. Yeah, and, even the start of this uh, light race, we've seen so many action happening, and it's just absolutely unbelievable. Amazing, yeah. Like I say, all three of the races, it's been action packed. It's a, it's a, it's a very strange combination of races, isn't it? I think that's what it is. We've got all aggressive but different styles, and they, yeah. they seem to be clashing at this stage. They've, they've got to learn to race together. They, they have to get that right because they're, they're just wasting each other's time at this stage. Woo. Uh oh, see Moras there going a bit wide there. Mm. Oh my word! I don't know if you guys saw that. <laughs> there was crazy stuff happening there. So this is Warpig is going to be a last one going over the finishing line there. There you go, and the love's still coming in for Beamer, you know you're still number one, there you go. 
Okay guys, so that was it now for our third round of our Sabrina. Um, as you guys saw, there, there was a lot of action happening. And um, yeah, cool. <laughs> let's get these guys into the hot box. And then uh, let's have a let's get a them. WeChat. Yes. Just give save us a couple of seconds there. Everyone, yes guys, please. please do save the replay. And uh, we just need the photo there of... Um, here we go. We finished where? Are you going to send out the invites? Yeah, I'll send out and the invites. And please get Kivit, Kivit in here as well if you can. Okay, so I'm going to try to get Kivit in quickly before I get the other guys in. Uh, doesn't seem like Kivit is still online. Oh, really? Yeah, it seems like Kivit he took a dodge there. <laughs> but we'll definitely be oh. able to. Um, to get some info there. Okay, so we need to get uh, Skummel Tully, Beamerstein, and make my day on yet. Okay, so we're gonna get Skummel Tully in there quickly. We're gonna get uh, Beamer, and why don't I have make my day on yet? Have you perhaps have uh, make my day? I'm, I'm looking, I'm gonna invite him straight from the lobby. Sweet. Okay, to our viewers out there, we just we're just waiting for these guys to join. And then um, we'll let you guys know just now. Okay, seems like Mac Day just joined. Uh, we've got Skummel Tolly joining, and then we're just waiting for Beamerstein just now. And if anyone can contact anyone Kivit. Okay guys, I'm still waiting on Beamerstein there. Thanks for Skummel Tully and Mac Mother for joining. Uh, we're just waiting for Beamerstein quickly. I just sent uh, another invite there to Beamerstein again. I'm just hoping he's gonna join. Guys, I'm just going to show you the finishing uh, grip order there. Um, like I said, we still yeah, I'm interested to see what. Well. Um, okay, well, let's start along with Skumal Tully and uh, Mick Maday. Uh, uh, evening, gents, uh, and thanks for joining us. That's all good, all good. Okay, perfect. Uh, good evening. Um, so guys, uh, what was um, your thoughts on the race? Um, I'll start off and say, okay, what a ridiculous race. It was a bit hardcore from the start, getting taken early on the first corner. Yeah. But yeah, I just kept my head in it and, okay, I made a few mistakes because I haven't done sebring during the day. I only trained it at night, so those conditions changing, it got me over a little bit, but I kept my head in there and yeah. Eventually it came through, but uh, I think we missed time to take this race, eh? Yeah, well, um, evening Beamerstone, thanks for joining. Um, hello, hello. Obviously, you, know, you had a bit of an uh, accident there with Moras. Um, as I, um, and as I told the guys there on the live stream as well, I didn't see any contact between you guys. So I don't know if there was a, a glitch from, uh, from Moras' side whatsoever, but if you can maybe uh, give us a glimpse of uh, what happened there. Yeah, basically, yeah. I, everybody yeah. was claiming uh, Morris was lagging a bit in the lobby. Yeah. Um, with TTC Sally also telling me when he was trying to pass him, the car glitched all over the track. That's why I tried to stay on the right hand side as far as possible. But okay. I waited for the straight because I knew I was faster. But then the car just glitched right into me and took me into the tires. Oh, that's unfortunate like um, as I said um, on my screen it literally just showed his car going to the left um, and then pulling off and then as you were actually g um, down to overtake then his car just kind of glitched to the right and it was yeah yeah it took, yeah it took me totally out oh guys it's unfortunate um, that, what we all want what we to know before the restart, um, Kivit was in the centre of turn one. What what exactly happened? I think it was Skomotoli that caught up in that, wasn't it? 
Yeah, I took him out. Like I was, I was banging it down the straight, still looking at my times. I ran a, a two o five five on the second lap, so I was very keen on my lap time. And then, next thing I see, there's a car on the straight parked parallel, and I was like, let me go for the pit wall and go around him and pulled forward, and I was just, uh, yeah, protesting on the test. <laughs> Did you know? Yeah, how luckily we I saw. What do you say? Uh, do you know how he ended up there? Ah, oh, no, you he ended up just like, I don't know, like if you can look at the board now, I don't know where, but he ended up being just as bad as me. I ended up taking, taking parachutes out getting the car back to the pits, which I do apologize for, but yes, it was a bit hectic. Mm. I'm sorry, Beam, are you, you about to say? Yeah, I saw yeah. that happen in front of me uh, when Skomotolo was in front of me the first time, but then all I saw coming on the straight past the finish line, cars, headlights are facing my direction, so I knew something was up. Mm. And then after that, when I passed and I looked to the back, it was just total carnage. Yeah, it's open, eh? <clears throat> Well, um, make my day. I, I, I basically called you as the driver of the day because you were involved with everything. Uh, before the restart, after the restart, you just kept yourself involved in the action. Um, did you feel like you had some good pace today? Oh, there was a force oh, I think so far, so that was fun, eh? Mm. Okay, I think cool. I was taken out of my teammate. <laughs> you you was taken yeah, out you by your teammate? Yeah. Yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I was, uh, <laughs> we've seen everything in this. Yeah, person. I must say it was quite exciting. Yeah, I must Just, say that. Yeah, I must say that. Yeah, crazy, crazy, yeah. crazy. Is there, is yeah, there any extra insights you guys want to share? Sorry about that. So repeat? No, I was saying, is there any extra insights you guys want to share about the race? Uh, only well, I must say, it's uh, every. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was different it was uh, changing the track to a day. Uh, it did obviously a lot of impact on the times. Was really looking forward to the night race. Um, I must say, make my day. Your, he drove a well race. I mean, like uh, from the distance. Uh, info I could see was up there all the time, and yeah. from Sully's yeah. side, uh, being in the party chat, he was telling me it, he just couldn't catch him at all. Um, yeah, um, right. Okay. But chuffed, uh, but chuffed, uh, I actually thought Skomotoli would be a bit closer, but yeah. yeah. No, if you don't get race. taken out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I yeah, think I it was turn two, wasn't it, Skomotoli? You, you got pushed out onto the grass. Yeah, I got uh, just a little a live bump from the back in my left corner, so it pushed me off. And then like four mm. or five guys came past me, and on the next corner, they all slipped up with each other. Mm. So, make my day, and all of them mm. were actually involved in that. So, that's why yeah. I was quite, quite, su quite surprised in the race. Okay, so, uh, I'm a smoker, so I had a cigarette and got some smoke in the eye, and I was, the one lap I was all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and make my day was, was on me. <laughs> So yeah, well, make we my saw day these was little like incidents all over the track. Yeah, you know, Sebring is a hard track, like, the setup and everything, like, especially racing it during the day for the first time, I had to get used to it. Mm, I, be I believe that decision was made um, because half the guys um, were struggling with lights. Um, half guys had lights, half didn't. I don't know. We're, we're going to look into that after the race. Yeah, definitely. No, no, that'll be all good. Like, it's been messy. Mm. It's, it was a messy race. Yeah. But thanks, gents, for joining us. Um, that's obviously you guys uh, in the hot box and uh, giving your per um, and your perspective of the race as well. So thank you for joining, guys. Um, I'm just gonna. Ask and there's lots of love coming through for you guys, by yeah. the way, on the chat. Yeah, guys, yeah. definitely go watch the um, and the video. Um, you guys are gonna see a lot of stuff happening there. Uh, <laughs> but uh, there was a um, a lot of uh, love coming through there for, um, and from your fans and uh, and from the spectators. Yeah. So a job yeah. well done to you guys and thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks, thanks very much, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Sorry, James, that's a good day. Thanks. Okay, perfect. Yes, cheers, bye. Okay, cheers, guys. Yes. Cheers, guys. Bye. -bye. Okay, guys, so we're just waiting there for the guys to leave. Okay, guys, so yes, that was it. That was uh, our crazy semi-pro race. 
Uh, as you guys saw there, we had uh, our first night race, and it was a bit bonkers. Um, and then obviously we yes. and then we had to restart. And then obviously, being daytime, I thought it was going to be a clean start. It's going to be all fun, fun and games. And then literally, that second corner, it just well, went haywire. That's what I was saying. The psychology after the restart is completely different. Before the first start, you would have had a few nervous yeah. heads out there, but when the restart comes around, those nervous heads become angry heads. Yeah. Um, and I was I was waiting for a little spark. Uh, but they made it around the turn one both times, all right, but it was that turn two caught them out. Yeah. But well, yeah. Um, as you guys can see uh, quickly, as you guys can see there on the total pits, as you guys can actually see the beam is actually the three pits. So if he didn't have to uh, do that um, in the third pit there, he would have definitely yeah. have had it. So, but but at yeah. the end of the day, that's racing. Anything can happen, and obviously with your internet connection and the Forza servers and that kind of stuff and a glitch and whatnot, it can happen. It's really unfortunate that it did happen, but yeah, at the end of the day, what can we do about it? Um, that's yeah. and, and that's part of it. But yeah, I would just like to say thanks for the guys for obviously uh, joining us um, on the live stream. Um, and thanks for keeping us company in the in the commentating area. Um, it's always a pleasure having you guys on board and uh, giving your <laughs> and giving yeah. your views and your funny jokes and all that kind I of stuff. I love the comments. Yeah, I definitely. Love the comments. It just it just, yeah. it just makes it so much better. But um, yeah, guys, uh, yeah. thanks for joining. Uh, Gary, if you've got anything to say about the race or no, I'm I'm out of oxygen. I'm done. I'm yeah, ready for bed. Me as well. Uh, there was so much action happening, all that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna go to bed just now. But yeah, guys, um, I would just like to say thanks to all the guys for joining our live stream. Uh, as you guys know, we've, we have got our pro class tomorrow. Uh, that's gonna be tried. We're gonna try and get that live streamed. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for joining. Um, and and uh, if you guys are new viewers or new members. Uh, definitely hit that like button and then subscribe as well so for our next uh, live stream you guys are gonna go to um, and gonna get an instant notification and then you guys are gonna go straight to our live stream and then you guys won't miss any action as you guys have seen tonight there's a lot of action happening so don't miss any of it uh, but yeah guys yeah. Uh, thanks for joining and then once again thanks Gary for joining me in the commentating uh, uh, box uh, it was a great pleasure to have yeah, you thanks on to you again. man yeah. But uh, in the hot box, yeah, in the hot box. Um, I thought it was going to get a bit more messier, but um, yeah, um, <laughs> and we were trying to get Kivit on board, but it uh, doesn't seem like uh, he was online anymore. But yeah, guys, thanks for joining. Yeah. Uh, that's all from our side. Uh, have a good evening, and then we'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Catch you next time, guys. Cheers, guys. <laughs>